the longest U.S. government shutdown ever still has no end in sight. President Donald Trump's latest proposal, $5.7 billion in funding for a border wall in exchange for extending temporary protections to immigrants his administration sought to end, was swiftly rejected by Democrats over the weekend. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he intended to bring it to the floor this week, a vote that could come Thursday. Everyone has made their point, now it's time to make a law, McConnell said Saturday. But by then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi had already announced her opposition, calling the president's latest proposal a non-starter. The public isn't happy with anyone at the moment. A majority of Americans disapprove of the way Trump, 61 percent, Republicans in Congress, 60 percent, and Democrats in Congress, 53 percent, are handling negotiations over the shutdown, according to Pew Research. The vote in the Senate on the president's proposal likely won't get the required 60 votes and Democratic support to move forward. The bill will include the $5.7 billion for the border wall, $800 million for humanitarian assistance and provide three years of legal status for those enrolled in the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals and Temporary Protected Status programs. McConnell will put additional pressure on Democrats to vote for it introducing not just the president's plan but a full legislative package that will make it harder for Democrats to oppose, including all seven unpassed full-year appropriations measures negotiated by Republicans and Democrats in both chambers, $12.7 billion in disaster relief funding and an extension of the Violence Against Women Act through the end of September, according to a source with direct knowledge of the bill. Yet the vast majority of Democrats will oppose it and continue to push for the government to be reopened without funding for the border wall. A Senate Democratic aide, who asked not to be identified, predicted it would not get the 60 votes it needs to advance. POTUS proposal can't get 60 votes in Senate and was never designed to, the aide said. But the White House knew that already. Democrats will continue highlighting the shutdown's negative effects on the hundreds of thousands of government workers who aren't getting paid. On Tuesday, Senator Tim Kaine, D. Virginia, will volunteer at Chef Jose Andres World Central Kitchen to serve food to some of them.